We're looking at the HP Omen Transcend 16 from 2024. Now from the outset of this laptop, it doesn't look like much has changed, but there's one big change that you definitely wanna know about when considering purchasing the latest model versus perhaps the 2023 model. Now we're gonna get into that in just a minute, but we're gonna go through the build quality, usability, and performance of this laptop to see if it's the right pick for you. Now looking at the interior of the laptop, it doesn't look like there's a lot of change from 2023 to 24. We have the same great keyboard layout, nice spacing between the keys, quiet key travel, nice medium key travel, and of course a quiet trackpad. It's a good size. It's not stuffed in there like the latest Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G16 trackpad. It has a little bit more comfortable surroundings around the trackpad. Now we do have our separated key stack here. We have the arrow keys over on the right side which provide us with a nice full size shift key on both the right and the left. Then you have an extra set of keys which are really convenient to hop you into the HP Omen Gaming Hub, grab your calculator, print screen, page up, page down. Some really nice function keys that are set off to the side. Now, speaking of the gaming hub, let's talk about the backlighting on the keyboard. Taking a look at the RGB backlighting, there's a lot of nice settings that they offer here inside of the Omen Gaming Hub. I'm just going to leave it on color cycle right now, um, but that is where you can go ahead and switch it out. And you can also easily turn on and off the backlighting by pressing function and then the keyboard backlighting F4. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to get a look at the lighting. And as you can see, we have a very nice evenly distributed backlighting. Now the WASD keys, they are easily identifiable because they're set apart with this clear translucent material. However, the WASD starts to get a little bit washed out. However, because we know that those are the keys, I can understand that. I can forgive that they're being washed out. It's not a huge deal to me. Um, but the clear distribution of light looks really nice. Not a lot of bleed around the edges of the key. So I think HP did a good job with the lighting on the latest Omen 16. Another thing that can be controlled through the gaming hub is some of the performance settings. Let's talk about how that affects the battery life. All right, now let's talk about battery life. I went ahead and switched it over to eco mode. I used Windows Battery Saver mode and set the screen brightness to about 20%. And that's how I achieve the battery life results you see coming up on the screen right now. Now, we could possibly have achieved better battery life results if the graphics switcher had allowed us to go to iGPU only. However, for the HP Omen Gaming Hub here, we have discrete and hybrid mode. For the HP Omen 14 Transcend, we do have another mode that allows us to do the iGPU only, but that's not available here. So we cannot test if it would be better if we were only running on the CPU, if that would provide better battery life results. We will never know. With the seven hours of battery life, it's a good battery life result for a large 16 inch gaming laptop. As I was unboxing the HP Omen this year, I had a nice 230 watt charger block included. And you can see really nice, simple packaging this year for the Omen Transcend 16. Now, as I went ahead and pulled out and started to look at it, I noticed a very similar design to last year. No changes have been made on the exterior. You still have two fan vents on the outside, as well as a vent for the heat pipes in the middle. Air's being pushed out the back here, as well as some vents along the side. Now, the assembly of the laptop is looking really good. Nice rounded edges. Is no more sharp edge at the back like in previous HP Omens like the 22 or 21. They've rounded everything off and gave it a really nice comfortable feel. Now going ahead and taking a look at the ports. For the ports on the HP Omen we have two USB type A's, HDMI 2.1, your RJ45 Ethernet port, power adapter, as well as two USB-C's and a headphone jack. Now these USB-C's have up to 40 gigs per second signaling rate with power delivery and display port. Now taking a look at the interior of the laptop, I wish they had a little bit more customization opportunity. We only have one slot for an M.2 drive, which of course comes occupied with a one terabyte SSD, but there's not an extra slot. And to me, when I was looking at the interior of the laptop, it looked like there would have been room. So that was slightly disappointing. Now there is two RAM sticks in the laptop. So those are available for upgrade. And of course you have access to your Wi-Fi card to upgrade that as well. Now looking at the cooling system, you can see they've gone with heat pipes instead of the new design in the HP Omen Transcend 14, which is a complete thermal chamber. 
Now let's talk about the spec availability as well as the pricing on the HP Omen Transcend 16. Taking a look at the HP Omen 16, we have a few configurations available. Now you can see the price starts out with the i7 14700HX with the RTX 4050 about 1529. Now that's including one terabyte of SSD, which most laptops are shipping with these days. Now, if I go ahead and upgrade this laptop to the i9 14900HX and RTX 4070, I also include the one terabyte of SSD. I'm going to be at $2,379. And that's before we add 32 gigs of RAM, which if you're going to be getting this laptop, it may be a good idea to upgrade that from the factory, or you can upgrade it post-purchase. As you'll see in this video, you do have an upgrade path on this laptop if you open up the bottom cover. However, if I jump on over to bestbuy.com, you can see I do have the 16 gig model here, but I also have one terabyte of SSD with the RTX 4070, and it's $2,199. So you can save almost $200 by going with Best Buy over the HP website. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a deal, Best Buy is gonna be where it's at. You can go ahead and check the live pricing using the links in the description below. And of course, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, I think for me personally, kind of the sweet spot on this laptop is gonna be the RTX 4070. It's gonna be great for 6K video editing, some nice light 3D modeling, Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, the design suite. But if you're gonna be really serious about 3D modeling, I would upgrade to the RTX 4080, and that's gonna give you the most punch for your money with this laptop. Now, as I pick up the laptop, it's pretty average for the weight of a 16 inch gaming laptop. It's got a good thin form factor. That's something that really improved in the 2023 model, and they've carried that over into 2024. And as you add the charger block on top of this, it's gonna add about a pound to the total carrying package that you have. Now going ahead and opening and closing the lid with one hand, that's done easily, being that we have a good weighted base here with the chassis. And then as we look at the screen bounce, it's got quite a bit of screen bounce. Uh, if you're gonna be using this on maybe a train or on an airplane and you get a little shaky turbulence, it's, it starts to shake a little bit, but honestly, I, I've seen worse. So let me know in the comments below if you think that's a lot of shake or just a little shake. And I'm kind of moving my hands as much as I can to simulate a bit of a shake while traveling. Now checking out the screen flex, they actually do a really good job for being such a big 16 inch panel for mitigating the screen flex. This is a good top cover design. Now, as I'm sitting here in idle, the fans are running. So keep in mind that even at idle set on eco mode and hybrid mode for the graphics processor, it still has a bit of fan noise. So as we go ahead and ramp up into some other benchmarks, I noticed even more fan noise. So if you're looking for a quiet laptop with no fan noise, this is not going to be the choice I would recommend. I'd recommend checking out something like the HP Omen Transcend 14. I know that gives you a completely different screen size. That'd be the best bet if you want to stick with HP and have less fan noise. Now let's talk about that main difference between the 2024 and the 2023 model and why you might want to consider the 23 if this bothers you. Now taking a look at the display on the new 2024 HP Omen, you can see we now have a borderless design. This is the 2023 model. You have this big thick bezel on the bottom. The bezel is still there, it's just not produced in plastic. It's the borderless design. Now you do have a glossy screen on the 2024. You can see it's quite reflective, even though they claim it has an anti-glare coating. Still, compared to the matte finish, it disperses the light much more and makes it less glare oriented. Now this is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display. This is the QHD model. So it's 2560 by 1440 resolution at 240 Hertz refresh rate and three milliseconds of response time. Now the serene brightness on this reached a max from my test of 392 nits at 100% sRGB, 97% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3 at a delta of 0.41. So there's a nice large color gamut range and color accuracy. The brightness is good, but if you're looking for a screen that does not have a lot of glare, you're gonna wanna maybe go for a matte finish perhaps last year's model may be a better fit for you, depending on what you need in regards to performance. So if you're somebody who likes more of a matte display, 23. If you're somebody who likes more of a glossy display, 24 is gonna be the right pick for you. Now we do have a webcam along the top bezel. Here's a quick example of the webcam so you can hear and see what it's like. This is the webcam on the HP Omen 16 2024 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And of course we do have speakers along the bottom of the chassis here. Here's a sample of the speakers in use so you can hear what they sound like.
Now, as we're getting into the performance benchmarks, as a reminder, this is the i9-14900HX with the RTX 4070, 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Now, taking a look at Geekbench single core and multi-core, as well as Cinebench 2024, you can see that this laptop edges up to be one of the top performers in the laptops I reviewed so far last year and this year. One thing that you'll notice about the 2024 laptops is they're not going to give you much more performance than 2023, which is why a lot of reviewers have been encouraging people, and I myself have been one of those, to purchase 2023s if the price makes sense because most laptops are going to have the same performance. Now, where you may want to buy 2024 is going to be laptops that have substantial feature upgrades. Like for instance, we now have the new HP Omen Transcend 14, which is a totally new design laptop. It was unavailable in 2023. Or the new Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 or the G16. Brand new models weren't available in 2023. New redesigns, they might flip your fancy and you may want to go for it. However, when it comes to the HP Omen, we're seeing pretty similar performance to last year's model. And as we go through these benchmarks, you'll see the HP Omen from 2023 pop up so you can have a little bit of comparison. Now, checking out some real world benchmarks now that we've looked at the simulated benchmarks, you can see that the HP HP Omen from 2024 has a good score. However, it's not substantially higher than other laptops from 2023, having the latest Intel 14th gen with the same RTX 40 series GPU, because Intel did not design an entirely new chipset and therefore we're not seeing big performance increases. Now, going ahead and taking a look at 3D modeling, Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, and PTC Creo, here we are seeing pretty similar results to 2023 models as well but it is great performance. This laptop is one of the top performers for the RTX 4070 that is available. So it's a great choice. If you can find it for a great price point, it's, it's a no brainer if you're considering the HP Omen. Now going ahead and taking a look at the export times. This is an area I was impressed by. One of the best export times I've seen on my channel with two minutes and 11 seconds for 4K. It's a nine minute 4K clip put into Premiere Pro and then exported out at full quality 4K YouTube settings. Now, when we go to 6K, I was not as impressed with that export time. It was a good time, but it was more on average for 16 inch gaming laptops. It wasn't one of the best performers at 16 minutes and 42 seconds. Now looking at playback, 4K, zero drop frames, 6K B-RAW, 24, which you will not notice, but I wanted to document that for accuracy, and then 589 for red footage. That you may notice here and there, but honestly, when it's below 1,000, it's very unnoticeable, especially when you're actually in the process of editing. If my main focus for this laptop was 3D modeling, 6K video editing, you know, things that take high graphical performance, I would definitely consider looking at the RTX 4080 version of this laptop, just to make sure you have no ceiling and you have a lot of performance headroom. If you're somebody who's been doing light 6K video editing, 4K video editing, or even 1080p, this setup is plenty of performance. You might even be able to get away with the i7 version in RTX 4070 of this model, or even the i7 in RTX 4060 if you're doing 4K and 1080p video editing. For those digital artists, graphic designers, photographers, the i7 and RTX 4060 version will be plenty of performance, and that's where I'd really recommend you going as far as your purchase is concerned. Remember, I'll put links in the description below. If you wanna check the live pricing or make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Don't forget to keep an eye on the channel. I'm gonna be putting together a buyer's guide of the HP Omen Transcend 16 versus the 14, as well as the HP Victus, so you can choose the right laptop for your needs. So if you're still deciding, click or tap the screen here when that video comes available. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.